Hey, welcome back to Trails to Azure, video number uh, 59 so far. So I apologize about last video that I missed about 15 minutes of recording. It's nothing much, but that's what happens when when people forgot to record or something. But anyways, I'm just hanging around near the ice cream because Tia wants some ice cream. Let's go get some ice cream. Okay, no. <laughs> All right, anyways, um, let's continue through here uh, before we start some side requests. And then finally, the main story. Uh, I haven't checked here a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That'll be very soon. Because that's where we need to go for the main story. So let's... Uh... Oh, yeah. Hand over fragment. I think we only got one from the Geofront Sector B. Which is important. We have to check the treasure chest. I might gonna miss one or two because like you have to check everything. And of course there's a trophy where you have to unlock all oh, page one. Yep. And I'm also here for uh uh show combat, see what we get. Like I mean, why not? Oh, nothing. We need more. I mean, again, this is kind of like, just like uh, in Trials of Cold Steel games. You have to identify more monsters and, uh, yep, the good old, uh-oh. Oh, we got a dialogue scene here. Yep, because we got Teo back. Oh, same here. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I'm double checking my recording. Like if I, I am recording or, you know, <laughs> damn, since I made that mistake uh, before. You guys look unstoppable. Yeah, we are. Expecting a big, no huge things from you. And yeah, luck is also on SSS because they would have almost died like a couple of damn times, especially in the first game, Trails from Zero. Jeez. Thankfully, backup shows up at the right time. Huh. A little birdie told me that someone got Captain... Oh. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Noe. Yeah, because they uh, visit, uh, you know, it's a private meeting. And that's really nice for Noelle, you know, for her sister. It's the least I could do. Sorry you weren't there to meet her, too. I'll give it to you once things settle down a bit. Oh, sisters. Yep. On the airship. Yeah, they're like really kind. But <laughs> Osborne's opposite. <clears throat> so why not? I'm surprised that friend is just a big fan of Julia. It's her sister. Of course I am. <laughs> Noe. My number one role model. It's cooler than her. <laughs> what the hell? How can you just say things like that? I hardly deserve to be compared to someone like her. Jeez. Yeah, I did not expect <laughs> what was that are you familiar oh she's the one next for this uh you know for today palm party yep I just picked it up myself we can play together sometime if we want there we go it's a good thing I came to talk to her so yeah again you have to talk to certain people at the right time and chapter or whatsoever or the right day and then there you go I mean, why not? I'll just play until I beat her just for once. But again, you don't get stuff like you materials, just like in Trials of Cold Steel 4, but it's a heresy. <laughs> he gets it. Oh my god. Alright, so... Uh... Wow, we haven't been up there for a long time during gameplay, but we only went up there during cutscenes in the first game. Because screw that Vice, uh, whatever his name is, uh, 
Anyone here? Nope, because everyone's gone because uh, they're busy, you know, security on the trade conference. So just double checking. I also want to see what's down here, but nope, we can't go down there. So why not? Let's, well, I'll play a game of pom-pom party after I search around this area. So again, I'm just talking to, not this boy, but I'm talking to uh, the important NPC's uh, recipe. No. There you go. So why can't that ice cream lady set up her stall around here? Look, there's so many people around. Oh, yeah, I forgot that Kia is in the library. As long as Maribel's not in... <laughs> Stay away from Maribel. Stay away from, uh... <laughs> you know, Kia, but... This is where you were, Zet. Yep. I mean, that's the thing I like about Zet is... Like a guard dog or wolf. It's awesome. Well... I don't know what I was saying uh, about last video. I apologize. Zet is a is a wolf, so never mind. So Cerberus is the number one dog, and Zet's the number one wolf. Yeah, Celine is the number one cat. It's my favorite in the Trails of Cold Steel games. All right. Anyways, um, hold on. Before we check there, geez, what am I saying? There's like three or more people that Kia needs to stay away from. One is Shirley. Two is Maribel, and three is, uh, yeah, probably Osborne, because uh, probably, I bet, Kia sent something about Osborne. And there's probably more people that I didn't add in the list. Uh, how's it going, Phantom Thief B? <laughs> no. Man. And we cannot enter to either yet. All right. Everything's fine here. I mean, the SSS has to go check around. Let's go check with Kia. That's doing a good job. Guard, well, no wolves allowed inside. Uncle Miles. Yeah, she is. Thirst of knowledge. I mean, you read a book. There you go. She can learn that, this or that instantly. Almost pains me that we can only... Oh. You know, take your time. You know, in the library. You don't have to rent books. Just go visit in the library. Start reading books. And if she wants to lend a borrow a book, she has to go get these big ones. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Huh. Let me guess. Is Kia is hanging around with the boy and this uh, mother here reading fairy tales? No. She's not here? I thought she would be hanging around here. Oh, well. I mean, they love fairy tale stories and books, but Kia likes everything. There she is. Wait, what the? That little girl was looking for a book, so I helped her out. I gotta say, though, it's wonderful to see someone so young to take it. Yeah. You know, she's not a normal girl. <laughs> oh, well, he didn't know. As a student in the field myself. Couldn't be happier about it. And yeah, she could be really smart than you. I'm not kidding. Kia can learn a lot of things. <laughs> That's so unfair. This kind of power. I wish I had that power when I was young. But no. It's real life here. Here we go. And got it. <laughs> Looking for something in particular? I was playing a game that sounds like it. But never mind. It's gathering up all the books. with Oh, folk tales. Huh. And now I can't get enough. Sorry, Kia, but only three. Oh, yeah, three books. Crossbell through the Middle Ages. Crossbell and Ruins. Learning from the... Oh, my gosh. Uh, not those folk tales. Uh, they're straight up history books. Man, I feel so bad about Kia. Like, no parents and... Man, because of what happened before. And yeah, that is around in the <laughs> ruins. Oh my god, I feel so bad. It's like she really wants to learn about her past, of what's been happening around in Crossbell. But she didn't know, because she has lost her memories. Yeah. And that's why she's here to learn what's been happening. I'll say, 
Ever so becoming a researcher when you grow up, keto. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, you can be like anyone. It's mom Arabonia and dad. Ver <laughs> what? How about you let your little Kia Bell uh, really have her autonomy? What the heck was that, uh, Dwazi? Jeez. It says the bell originally hung at the Sun Fort. Yeah, we've been there, all right. I wonder how hard it was to carry something that big into the city. Yep, that's a good, interesting, uh, like, like she wants to find out how they do it. And... Man. All right, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not really a uh, stuff of history. I fell asleep on history. Sorry, you guys, but... Uh, anyways, yeah, just keep an eye on her. See that he asked her. So why is he growling or grr? Gotten comfortable with roaming around the city these days, hasn't he? Well, it's true. I haven't seen Zit here a lot. Well, this is the second time he was here, because uh, yeah, he was chasing that maniac guy. I forgot what was his name, uh, but he's back. He was in jail now. And then now he's, well, mostly he'd been hanging around in the residential district and, of course, the SSS building. All right, let's play a game of Pom Pom Party. My bad, you guys, because I have to go all the way back here and then use the terminal. Uh, oh, boy. More Pom Pom Party. We're going to go get, what the? What? I thought Fran would be next in the bottom. You know, the easy opponents to hard opponents. Are you kidding me? So Michael is a bit better than Fran? Oh, we'll find out. Yoink. There you go. She got her own portrait this time. So let's see what I can do about this uh, since I'm still doo doo on this. Oh gosh. Uh, um, I can't think fast. Why did I do that? Oh, whatever. Oh, gosh damn it. Oh, there we go. It's not bad. Let's see. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Hold the phone. Hold on. Time out, Fran. There we go. Uh, yeah, that. I'm still newbie here. Okay, red. I'm looking at the next thing as possible, and I think I'm failing right now. Oh, crap. Oh, wow, I didn't even use my powers yet. I feel bad for you, friend. Oh, well, I win. So that's it. Again, you don't get something, but, you know, just going to play this just for once. And that's it, move on. That's Pom Pom Party against Fran. Man. Oh, well, I guess that's why Michael's a bit uh, more tougher than Fran. I don't know who's the next opponent. Oh, well, should be more. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think, you guys. Oh, yeah, I haven't chat around here, did I? Some souvenirs before I go home. Snap, snap, taking pictures. Balloon guy? Oh, yeah, I think I did talk to around here. My bad. All right, uh, we're almost done, so go Harbor District, and then uh, East Street, and then that's it. That the Mishi's got, oh, wait a minute, you're here, the blind journalist guy, Nielsen, yeah, I forgot his name, but I know it's him. This guy, very important, especially in the Trails of Cold Steel games, and he has a certain, certain item that he has, well, I don't know about right now, but... Wait until this guy starts uh, roaming around in Erebonia. He has something that... Something that uh, the Grawl Sweater has been looking for, but whatever. Bit. Man, this guy... Now you see why he's a legend. Alright, uh... I don't know about hey, what they're doing, but... We'll see. And this guy still fishing here? No. Oh. Huh. I was expecting him fishing there every day, but 
Or he could be in that fishing... I don't know. I could serve a thousand customers and hear a thousand different life stories. Yeah, but the only one he didn't like is uh, Master Zin, whatever, that little kid that insults his uh, noodles second rate <laughs> or whatever. And let's check here real quickly because uh, I don't even go here a lot because of this. And then the other one is uh, Grace. But Grace should be in the Orcus Tower already. So they to send Grace and Reigns. Yup. Everyone else is on standby. Waiting on publish. Uh, yep. They want. They want. Uh, well, they're at the wait for grace, for stories and news. All right. So uh, I'm not gonna go in IBC Bank because there's a request for that. I think that's it here. So let's go to. Uh, um, yeah. Let's go to East Street. Hold the phone. Let's check on the family. How are they doing? Because we had to help them that last day, day two of their missing cat. Man, it really sucks that the High Bloods, they took over their old home, man. But they have no choice. That's father's bed. Mine and mother's is this one. Are you listening, Mary? Oh, That's just cute. I mean, look how small this is. Man, they had a big, nice house. Two stories, but then, uh, yeah, apartment. I haven't even checked around these other ones. Oh, yeah, this Marcy. Yep, that he works with uh, Bond. All right, so I'm just double checking any books and stuff to, just in case I forgot. Oh yeah, this is where Fran and yeah Noel. Yep, where they live here. It's a nice teddy bear there. I forgot who lives here. Huh? Hazel told me some weirdo came into the bar yesterday. Huh? Oh no, yeah, that's uh, Prince Oliver. Carried a loot with him. So the guy gave an impromptu uh, concert and hit up on every girl who walked in. Wow. Yep, the prince. <laughs> wow. It's a good thing I talked to her. We see what the prince has been doing. Jeez. Alright, moving on. Hey, Mailing, where's Roy? <laughs> that's funny. Why? It's supposed to be R, but instead of W, but you know, that, that's how she uh, talks. Why is walking at the spinny toy with Stow right now? Yeah, it's like replacing all the R's with W. <laughs> oh, Mailing's funny. I'm so happy he find no uh, find no we yeah never mind <laughs> sorry my bad you guys I mean there's people out there in real life that uh, you know they they talk like that so oh there's Roy right here from Fire Emblem Tch. yeah there you go you got a job I hired Roy to work at my stall what it's no surprise he's diligent. The chairman more is a grandkid and all I'm expecting. Well, hopefully you guys have good business here selling stuff, so. Huh. No greater feeling than buying something you actually wanted at a massive discount. Uh, could you move, kid? <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. So yeah, I'm trying to get through this quickly as I can. But I'm almost done. And then finally we'll do the request, the first side request. Huh. So we have a big family, yeah, but they could at least try yeah, a little more economical. Yeah, she's how can they 
How can men be so thoughtless? Oh yeah, I forgot about the give fish. Like, if I really want, like, more, uh, but uh, hold on, I save on the fish just in case. And I keep forgetting to feed Cope. Chats of Osborne must have eaten them by basketball growing up. Wow. What the? That's it? Or all separate? Times five. Hold on, let me give just one, uh... Oops, my bad, you guys. Times five. For... F exchange for five of each sepith. I mean, that's not a bad deal. Like, if you have... Oh, wait, what? You can only do it once? What in the world? Okay, anyways, my bad. Let's check in here real quickly. I don't know if I have enough time. Let's see, uh, Sunshine. Yeah, they're doing a good job, Puck and Roos. They're old friends of mine. Because again, they're working hard, and they, very soon, just like in Trials of Cold Steel 3 and 4, they will open their own shop across the restaurant of this. Uh... So yeah, they're doing okay. Here's Puck. What the Puck? <laughs> Death glare. Wow. Think he trusts me? But no. The overprotective father on her daughter, but. Here's Finn from Adventure. To okay, sorry, you guys. Because there's like so many names I've seen from cartoons or other games or movies or whatever. Jeez. So many names. Zhang Hui. Uh, every time I. <laughs> It's like, I did play Dynasty Warriors, but it's a long time now. I haven't played Dynasty Warriors. Because the last time I played was Warriors Orochi number 4. That's the last time I played of, uh, that involves with Dynasty Warriors and stuff. But Because I don't know if they're going to make any more Dynasty Warriors game. I mean, there's a lot. Just checking here, because just in case of a important guest. So here's Roos. So yeah, he's in charge of the hotel area. The master. Catch Puck speaking to Sean Sean again. Uh, yeah, he just said hi. Jeez. I wanted to check here just in case uh, of a certain person. I don't know where he is now, but he got friend zoned or trying to find a girl. And I can't wait for a certain, certain maid. I can't wait to see her. Best maid in, like, ever in the Legend of Heroes. Oh, yeah, let's go talk to, um... Yep. Oh, gosh. I mean, this is a really nice old couple here. Is there anything here? Look, it's, like, hidden, but no. So just double-checking. The main session of the trade conference is finally here. Well, not yet, though, but we're working on it. What topics will they discuss? Yeah, uh, war? <laughs> what sort of agreements will they reach? Uh, nothing? Simply have to wait. Bated breath to find out. Yeah, they want Crossbell. They're fighting for Crossbell. That's crazy. All right, anyways. Uh, yeah, war sucks. Really bad. Let's see what the fishing guild. Uh, I haven't done this for a while because I'm still trying to. They look like they're only playing around, but they take this. Yeah, they're not kidding. Because I gotta do some more fishing off screen, and I don't know when I get better gear, fishing rod. I mean, look at this guy, Lake Lord 3, the third. Doesn't he look like someone? This guy kind of looks, he just reminds me, the way how he dressed and stuff in his hair. He kind of reminds me of, uh, but it's a different color. He just reminds me of, uh, oh, shoot. 
the the dragon tamer of the elite four i mean the champion or never mind i haven't played pokemon a long time ago never mind all right anyways um gosh all right uh the guild and then i think that's it yeah finally so let's see what the members are doing arios yep just in case marco village stand by stand by lynn oh Oh, oh, I think I know Aeolia. Okay. Because she's from Remiferia, right? I forgot. And there's a certain doctor. Dr. Salin, right? Is also from Remiferia. I don't know. That's why they want to see each other. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, as long as we have Arios, we'd be good, right? But still. They're taking those. Days. Yeah. But uh, they need us. The SSS. I mean, we got this. I mean, just in case. Yeah, big responsibilities. The Arios McLean can handle a whole horde of terrorists all on his own. Well, it's just necessary. I'm counting on you to support him as best you can. Yeah, we're all in this together, so... Uh, Let's talk with these two because they're on standby. Oh yeah, Kilika, yeah. She's a master of Taito school. That makes her my elder. Huh. After her father passed away, she spent some time as her... Yeah, um, in liberal. Um, that's what, uh, what's her name, uh, Princess Claudia, or, you know, that's what they said about her, Kilika. The ones, but instead of Taito, her weapons now is a check ram. And she's the one that helped us off screen. She throw her check ram across the, the bridge when we're trying to escape from the Robachi. So that's her, the one with the black hair. And now she's with Calvert, yep, and joined the intelligence agency. Now she reports directly to the president. Yeah, we haven't talked to her yet and the president of Calvert yet. And we haven't talked to Osborne yet, but I would stay away from him. I mean, that guy, man. Yeah, keep an eye on her. Yep. I mean, I don't know who's stronger, but I believe Lecter would be stronger than Kilika, I believe. Because Lecter is something. Since I played Trails of Cold Steel 4, I mean, he's Iron Blood. Yeah, intelligence division. Yeah. And Kilika is, uh, yeah. I don't know much about Kilika, so that's why I'm playing this game, so. But if only I would have played Trails of the Sky, I would have known more about her in the past, so. The feeling Terrace would be on the move. On the, yeah. Sure thing. Be on the lookout for them. Sounds like he's speaking to someone from an Erebonian branch. Yep. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, those terrorist group, the Liberation Front, I don't think... Well, they would last long until Trials of Cold Steel, like, uh, around 1 and 2. But that's where they stopped. And Trials of Cold Steel 3, like, you never heard of them now. Yeah. Lots of changes and plot twists. All right, anyways, um, how much time do I got left? Six minutes, damn. So let's do the first one. I'm just going to start it, and then I'm at the end of the video. Oh, yeah, inspection. So we need to go to the train station, right? Yeah. Well, let's go there quickly, and I'm going to do a quick save here. I haven't even talked to these people a lot, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, so let's just start this. And then I'll have to end the video once we start uh, doing the inspection. Yep, let's do our first request for today. And then, uh, oh, hold on, just checking. Is it this guy? No, it's just a businessman. My bad. Oh, uh, yeah, it's this guy right here. So this is the second time we're doing this. We have to help him out because, you know, what's been going on? I mean, it makes sense. If there's a trade conference, there's a lot of people coming here. Let's 
Transferred here from the Rep oh Republican Army. Uh, yeah, sure. So sorry, you guys. I should have probably saved this for next video, but you know, just to get things done and keep my videos around 35 minutes. Yeah, one task: conducting inspection on the train bound for Calvert. So yeah, means we'll be looking for any suspicious people or items on board, right? Yeah, because we've done this before. So keep in mind that security is currently much stricter across the city in the light. Uh, yeah, yep. I mean, this is serious. Yeah, they need help. I mean, it gets really busy, so why not? Just call the SSS. Increase workload right now, hence my request. Yep. Uh-oh. So the next train to Calvert is now arriving. Yep. Please watch your step. Give me all the details. <laughs> we like been doing like talking around a bunch of people around while and then the fun the train finally comes back here when we talk to him to start the request. Jeez. Sorry about the noise in the background. Oh so, yeah, this is it. Wait. Look at that. Well so, hold on. Oh yes, this one, this train. Yep, I remember this train. I forgot the name, damn it. It's been a long time. Eisengraf. Train that used exclusively by the Imperial government. Yeah, Osborne! Its real design is almost a symbol of the Empire in in itself. Yeah, this is their first time seeing that train, the SSS. I mean, you'll see this train a lot in Trails of Cold Steel 1, 2, and 3, and 4. I mean, the trains are really important. That's why it's called Trails of Cold Steel. Blood and Iron Chance are arriving the circus on rails. Cocky bastard sure loves to stand out. It's damn impressive. I'll give it that. Jeez. Appearance is far from its only impressive aspect. It's also the fastest orbital train in existence. Wow. Impressive. Huh. <laughs> they haven't seen anything yet until like very soon. Uh, uh, Panzer soldats and, and higher technologies. Like, very soon. <laughs> and a divine knight. Empires and League of its own and more fields than one. <laughs> okay, anyways, ahem, sorry. You're quite finished. I would like to explain the details of the request, so yeah, sorry about that. Distracted. And I'm running out of time, thank you. Examining all the passengers' entry applications and luggage, yep. And we have to find the odd one out, right? And I bet this might be a little bit more tricky. I bet. Wait, does a safety inspection entail exactly? So I might gonna screw this up, of course. So, I mean, this is my first time. See that there are six of you total. So yeah, each for uh, one of each in each cart. So we'll have you form three pairs. Oh, okay. And two to expect in the cabins, and one as act as my helpers. Oh yeah, I remember last time. I feel bad for Tio here before. Because like she's so young. She's like a little girl. That like, people were like, "What?" <laughs> I feel so bad. So that's why it makes sense. Uh, yeah, double up instead of uh by yourself, you know. I mean, since we got more members now, Wazi and Noel. So this is good. I'll let you decide how to divide yourself up. So if you're having trouble, you could always resort to rock, paper, scissors. Oh, come on, Lloyd. You don't know rock, paper, scissors? Wow, he doesn't know that game. Well, he's a police detective, but that's right. Strictly speaking, there is no real need to put much thought into these teams. The sooner we start, the sooner we finish. Yep. Which I might finish uh, next video and probably fail. A good time to me. 
Watch, well, he's gonna ask some girls, <laughs> especially Randy. Like, talk to these uh, chicks in the train. Jeez. If two people choose the same shape, they'll form a pair. Huh. Repeat the process until all of you have been paired off. Jeez. More or less. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I call that attitude very flexible either. Yeah, differences in their countries, cultures. Yep. Potato, potato, <laughs> potato. <laughs> so anyways, want to give it a whirl? Yep, let's try it out. On shoot. Oh, crap. I probably should have saved this. Oh, well. So this is Ray on uh, Trials to Azure. Well, next time we'll start this request we'll play a game of rock paper scissors and then see who's my partner let's i don't know we'll see or i don't know if this is random or well we'll see so thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time hopefully you guys enjoy this and goodbye everyone